Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Friday. This is the Pagan Housewife series. All through the month of April, we have been talking about gardening, and this week it's all about the fruits and the orchards. Because where would we be without the delights of fruits? Whether we are craving the sharpness of lemon or the sweetness of peaches, there is something for everyone when it comes to fruits. Now, of course, with all things gardening, we first must consider practicalities. Well, we have to take into account our soil composition, water requirements for the plants we're thinking of planting, sun exposure, and uh, fruits are no different. And unless we're growing our fruits in containers, and we can easily move those containers around when needed, we probably want to make a special note about the fruit's tolerance for both heat and cold, and uh, whether or not the area we live in is going to be suitable at all for it, because sadly not all of us can grow everything. So uh, bear that in mind. The next thing to consider is space saving, which is going to be an issue for most of us. Uh, one of the ideas that I've really come to admire in life over the years is the idea of the espaliered fruit trees, where they spread out their branches, they train them to grow in, uh, along lines and all these different shapes. There's a very long tradition about it. That means there's lots of wisdom and advice from very experienced gardeners to help get you started with that if you decide to do it. And of course, this can be a very productive way to grow your fruits. And that is a good solution if we're working with a small space, but we still want to be able to grow some fruit of our own. Now, even though uh, we can't grow everything, uh, what we can probably do is pick one of our favorites or at least something that we like that is going to be suitable for our area and then just try to grow that. Uh, given my own personal space limitations, I think I'm going to just try for strawberries in a container this year, unless I see something else that appeals that I can manage to put into a container. We'll just have to see, but I do want to grow at least one kind of fruit this year. Now, I'd like to make you aware of some magical uses of five common fruits, beginning with the apple. It's associated with the planet Venus and the element of water, and it's useful in uh, anything having to do with intentions of love, rebirth, health, peace, longevity, and strength. So the next time you make that apple pie, uh, you could also infuse a little bit of intention in with that pie. Uh, also oranges, another common favorite. Uh, they're associated with the sun and the element of fire. Uh, given their coloration, uh, this should come as no shock to us. Uh, but for magical purposes, think love, fertility, weddings, happiness, health, so if you have a special occasion coming up, you might want to be making use of the oranges. And if those oranges just so happen to be grown by your own fair hands, well, then so much the better. Even more of, of your energy is going to be infused into what you choose to do with it. Next, peaches, which are uh, one of my favorite fruits. They're associated with the planet Venus and the element of air. They're also good for love, fertility, and female sexuality. So ladies, if we're having some issues, whether uh, we're wanting to start a family or uh, perhaps... How can I put this delicately? Um, we aren't quite feeling ourselves uh, where bedroom issues are concerned. Perhaps uh, making use of the energies of the peaches and actively tapping into that energy to help build ourselves up uh, will solve some of our problems. I'll put it that way. And uh, that's where we will leave that. <laughs> Next, we have strawberries associated with the planet Venus and the element Earth. Uh, they're very useful for anything having to do with love, youth, peace, joy, and prosperity. Uh, if you are a maker of jams, strawberries are wonderful for the making of jams. Spread that on your toast, um, activate those energies onto it, and it just gets the day started off just a little bit better. And now grapes, which we have to mention grapes because they're good to eat in the raw. They're a great, great addition to things like chicken salads. And of course, when properly fermented and cared for, make the delights of wine. But grapes themselves are associated with the moon and the element of water and are handy dandy in workings involving romance, wealth, and awareness. So if we have intentions that we're wanting to cultivate along those lines, tapping into the energy of our grapes, especially the grapes that we've grown ourselves, is a good step forward for us. Now, given the dubious economic conditions that we're currently in, it does make sense for us to not only take care of our necessities as much as what's possible when it comes to food, but also to keep in mind that it's be a good idea to save a little bit of space to grow things for our treats. Even the hardest of times is made a little bit better if we have something sweet to look forward to, even if it's something as simple as a fruit. Uh, fruit is uh, nature's uh, present to our palates, and it brings something a little extra to us, whether we are using it for the practical or magical or both purposes. They have a lot to offer. And let's be honest, uh, the reward for growing our fruits is a bit tastier than the reward we get for growing broccoli. 
broth. It has its health benefits to be sure, but uh, fruits have their benefits to the soul. So are you going to be growing any fruits this year? Are you lucky enough to actually have a, a mini orchard of your own? I would love to hear about your experiences and the wisdom you have to offer on the subject. Now, on the Discord server, we have a channel called The Pagan Housewife, so absolutely please come see us there. Share what you're getting up to in your home garden, especially if you have pictures to share, and uh, help the rest of us along who are not so far advanced in our gardening careers. <laughs> please, I'm begging you. <laughs> there are people who would be very, very happy to hear some uh, sensible, practical advice on that score. So if you have not already joined us on Discord already, there is an updated link in the description box below. So just click on that. It'll take you right to us. And of course, uh, otherwise, I just leave your thoughts for us in the comments. And I do try to respond to each and every single person. Uh, sometimes if you're watching on YouTube, YouTube is in the very bad habit of hiding comments from me. So if I'm not responding, it's because I don't see it. Because YouTube has no manners, as we have uh, discussed many times in the past. Uh, but I think that's it for now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!